Hi everybody, I'm Rotten John and thank you for checking out my video. Today I want to show you how to get your legendary weapons by level 12, maybe even sooner, on the Isle of Sipta. You, when you create your character, you want to start at the northeast starting point on the map. And you're going to run around the beach, do your usual normal stuff, picking up tons of branches, stone, and plant fiber. You'll really want to make about three bedrolls to do this. So you're going to be doing a lot of running and avoiding things. Uh, these two people here usually have a water skin, but they didn't this time, so I'll have to kill something to make it. But anyways, this is the area we're going to head to uh, from the northeast starting point, right up into the brown wooded area, just above there. It's called the Northern Woods here. As soon as you get into this area, there's going to be a lot of wolves and bears you're going to have to avoid. But you want to start looking for the gulas. You don't want the light brown ones. You need the corrupted ones, and they'll be a darker black color. Like Here's one right here. Right now, it's kind of easy to cheese this because the hate list is not right with the new Isle of Sipta map. So mobs tend to fight each other, but you can take advantage of it. Let them fight each other and wear each other down. Maybe go in with your stone daggers, give them a few pokes, start some bleed going. That's pretty much all you're going to do is find one or two of these guys. However many skeleton keys you want to gather up. You're just going to fight these guys, stack some bleed on them. They die fairly easy, but they can kill you real easy at this early level too. That's why you really need to have a few bed rolls, which I forgot to place one here. And I'll get to it in a second. One thing with these guys, they'll whack you with those boulders. And if you're running away from them, they will throw the boulders at you. And it's usually a one-shot hit at this low level with the boulder. So you got to make sure you, you have a bedroll down nearby here. I think this is about the point I realized that I didn't put one down yet. But anyways, if you die, you spawn right back in. And it's quick enough that the corrupted gulas don't regain all of their health you just get right back in and start poking them some more with your stone daggers I usually make two sets of them only takes a few sticks twine and stone to make them not a not a big expensive deal these daggers are pretty OP at a early level like this Throughout the video, I'm not going to show you gathering all the sticks and stone. I'm not going to show you how I ran across the map everywhere. But pretty much, you're going to fight these guys. You're going to take them down. And you need a, either a pick, an axe, or some type of tool for harvesting. The stone pick is pretty cheap, stone axe is pretty cheap, either one works. Because once you get these guys dead, then you just harvest them and you get your skeleton keys. And I did this video on just a random community server to show you that it is possible. Like I said, I'm not going to show you gathering all the sticks and stone and wood. You guys know how to do all that. I'm not going to show you running from this area all the way to the center of the map at the tower. Basically, once you kill one of these, or as many as you feel like doing to get the skeleton keys, you're just going to run out of here and avoid everything all the way to the center of the map where the big tall black tower is. And that's where you're going to find, I believe it's six locked legendary chests and that's where these skeleton keys come in handy that you get from these guys like I said they're they're fairly easy to bleed out and kill 
even at a real low level. You may be able to do this even by level 8, 9, 10. You need to hit level 6 to get your stone daggers. And there we got our skeleton key from them. So now we're just going to run all the way to the center of the map to the big black tower. We're not going to fight anything. We're, we're not even going to look at anything. We're going to avoid everything and just run. One thing you want to do though is make sure you don't run out of stamina so you can keep out running everything. Now it's kind of going into night time. And once you get to the center of the map, once again you're just going to run past everything. You don't want to fight it, don't want to monkey around with it, they'll pretty much one shot kill you at this low level. It looks like I have a couple skeletons hot on my tail here. And normally when I do this on a server that I go to, I kind of stay out a little bit away from this tower. Because as you can see, you start gaining corruption when you're close to it. But just for making the video, I ran right next to the tower. Here's your locked legendary chest. Bam! Get your first legendary weapon at level 12. And then I'll just show you how to get out of here. It's pretty much the same thing you're going to do most of the most of this time just run and avoid everything. It's a pretty easy way to get your legendary weapons right off the bat. Normally I'll find two or three of the corrupted gulas to fight the Bigfoot things in the northern forest just to have a couple keys. Sometimes you'll run in here open a legendary loot chest and get stuck with a shield or something like that which is okay but really you want the weapons at this early stage so you can go out and wreck everything all right hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a thumbs up hit that subscribe button as I will be doing more videos on easy ways of getting legendary weapons how to get through this map a whole lot better I hope you enjoyed it thank you